Good day, my children, and welcome to Church and State. I am, as always, your heavenly host, Jesus. Now, against my better judgment, I left some time on Tuesday evening to view the second of your U.S. presidential debates. Now, I typically avoid stage events like debates, you know, where speechifying and blatant pandering stand in for real democratic exchange. But I was curious this time, so I listened intently, particularly to the candidates' positions on abortion. Now, President Obama reiterated a stance that I had heard him take before, supporting a federal mandate requiring insurance coverage for birth control, even if a Catholic institution has to dispense that birth control. He also pointed out Governor Romney's pledge to defund Planned Parenthood. But in response, it was Governor Romney who said something surprising. He said, I don't believe employers should tell someone whether they could have contraceptive care or not. He said, every woman in America should have access to contraceptives. And the president's statement on my policy is completely and totally wrong. Now, Governor, I've been doing some of my own research on your views about abortion, and I've found some very troubling things. Now, Jesus understands that a person can change his mind about so weighty a subject, but there's evidence, strong video evidence, I might add, that you either suffer from odd lapses of memory or are lying about your reasons for changing your mind. Back in 2002, when you were a candidate for governor of Massachusetts, you were very clear about your pro-choice credentials. I will preserve and protect a woman's right to choose and am devoted and dedicated to honoring my word in that regard. I will not change any provisions of Massachusetts's pro-choice laws. So what happened five years later in 2007 when you morphed into a presidential candidate? I will be a pro-life president. I'll appoint... <laughs> Just like I've been a pro-life governor. Now, as I said, people can change their minds. And maybe they can even forget that they said something on the campaign trail five years earlier. But that's not the end of the story, sir. Back when you were a candidate for Senate in 1994, you told voters a very different kind of story. I believe that abortion should be safe and legal in this country. I have since the time that my mom took that position when she ran in 1970 as a U.S. Senate candidate. I believe that since Roe v. Wade has been the law for 20 years, that we should sustain and support it. And I sustain and support that law and the right of a woman to make that choice. Many, many years ago, I had a dear, close family relative that was very close to me who passed away from an illegal abortion. It is since that time that my mother and my family have been committed to the belief that we can believe as we want, but we will not force our beliefs on others on that matter. Did you forget in 2008 the beloved relative about whom you spoke of so eloquently in 1994, Governor? I will be a pro-life president. There's no way abortion could have been a theoretical matter to you in 2002 if you had truly had the experience you attested to in 1994. That's not the last time you've changed your story on the subject either. I can only conclude that you cannot be trusted on the matter of abortion, Mr. Romney, no matter what position a voter wishes you take. Go in peace, my children.